This guy is dedicated to creating numerous inventions but due to lack of capital he resorts to courting millionaire women to keep his fortune, but a person apart from him is behind everything. Welcome to Worth Recap, this time I show you the summary of the movie Crimson Peak. The film begins in 1887 at the funeral of Edith's mother, she is very sad for her departure, her mother died of cholera and because of this Edith could not say goodbye to her mother, however days later she is visited by her mother in the form ghost, who warns him to beware of the Crimson Peak. Fourteen years later, Edith aspires to become a writer and takes her manuscript to a publishing house, however the person who reviews her writing advises her to change the subject of the novel, shortly after Edith meets Sir Thomas Sharp, an English baronet who has come to the United States to seek investors to finance his clay extraction machine. Therefore, she meets with Edith's father, Mr. Cushing, who rejects the offer, seeing Thomas's previous failures to raise capital. At night, Mr. Cushing and Edith's friend Alan McMichael go out to a party and Edith is left alone at home, at that moment the spirit of her mother appears and visits her again, repeating the same warning. Shortly after Thomas visits Edith and asks for her company for the party and Edith accepts, they arrive at the party together and attract the attention of those present, instead Thomas introduces Edith to her sister Lucille who shows some displeasure at seeing his brother with a woman. Shortly after, Thomas asks Edith to dance, who finds herself in awe of Thomas. After the party, Carter decides to hire a private detective to investigate the Shaper family, suspecting Thomas's intentions for which he approaches his daughter, discovering unpleasant facts about the Sharps, because of this, Mr. Cushing meets with Thomas and Lucille and bribes the brothers to return to England and have Thomas end his relationship with Edith breaking his heart in the process. After this Mr. Cushing is preparing to take a bath and an unknown person enters the bath and Mr. Cushing is brutally murdered on the spot. The next morning Thomas sends Edith a note explaining her actions. Edith immediately goes to look for Thomas and when they meet again they declare their mutual love, however after this Edith finds out about the death of her father and due to her emotional pain she marries Thomas and they return to England together. They arrive at Allerdale Hall, the Sharp's dilapidated mansion, which sits on a red clay pit in the middle of a field. In the mansion, Edith sees a shadow pass in the mirror, Believing that it is Lucille, she ventures through the mansion, reaching an elevator where she meets Thomas and when she tells him what she saw, he does not care, shortly after Lucille arrives, behaving coldly and somewhat aggressive with Edith. At night Edith takes a bath and sees a shadow with a humanoid silhouette peeking out from the corridor, Edith immediately gets ready to leave the bathroom, meanwhile the shadow begins to approach Edith slowly until it becomes visible as the deformed ghost of a woman who fades out when Edith turns. The next morning Edith explores the mansion alone and finds Thomas's workshop, they begin to chat and Thomas realizes that Edith is more special to him than he thought, so he kisses her, however he stops when Lucille arrives who tells him offers tea to Edith. At night Edith wakes up from pain and realizes that Thomas is not by her side, so she goes out to look for him and in the corridor a very deformed entity begins to emerge from the ground and chases Edith. So she goes to the elevator and goes down to the deepest part of the mansion where she finds a chest with the name Enola. In the morning Edith talks to Thomas and he mentions that the place where they live is also known as Scarlet Peak because the snow and clay of the place combine and take on a red color like blood, Edith is surprised by the name. Meanwhile, Alan, who is suspicious of the way in which Mr. Cushing died, begins to investigate, learning that Mr. Cushing hired a detective to investigate the Shaper brothers. We return with Edith who wakes up again due to pain but this time stronger than the previous one, she tries to turn to Thomas but he does not find her and gets up to look for him, meeting a ghost in the bathtub, he asks Edith to leaves the house, terrified Edith runs and screams calling the attention of Thomas and Lucille, Edith is very disturbed by the experiences lived in the mansion. Because of this Thomas takes her to the nearby town to try to calm her down. Alan meets with the detective and learns that the Shaper brothers are linked to a murder case and that Thomas has had multiple marriages. Thomas and Edith are hit by a storm so they spend the night in town, where they both begin to have an attraction to each other, consuming their love.
The next day they return to the mansion and Lucille is furious when she finds out that Thomas and Lucille spent the night together. But she immediately calms down and goes to make some tea for Edith leaving her keychain behind her. Edith takes the opportunity and takes the key with the name of Enola. With the key Edith goes to the elevator and when she arrives at the place she opens the chest and finds letters addressed to different women and a phonograph cylinder and she takes them to her room. However Lucille realizes that a key is missing from her keychain and goes to look for Edith, she realizes that Lucille is looking for her and pretends that she went somewhere, when she finds her she apologizes for her previous behavior and offers her tea, Edith she declines and asks for a glass of water as Lucille leaves the room. Edith places the key back. At night Edith begins to listen to the phonograph cylinder and reads the letters discovering thanks to these that Thomas had multiple marriages for financial interest and through the cylinder she discovers that Lucille puts poison in the tea to weaken Thomas's women and then finish with them. Edith tries to escape from her but her body is greatly weakened by the poison. In the morning Edith wakes up in her bed and Lucille takes care of her by feeding her, then she leaves the room and meets with Thomas telling him that Edith already knows everything and that is why she did not drink the tea even though she had put the poison in the food, Thomas he asks his sister to stop but she tells him that if he leaves her they will be separated reminding him of the promise that Thomas made to Lucille to always be together. Thomas agrees to continue. In the town near the Shaper mansion Alan arrives and asks for directions to the mansion and the locals give them to him and he immediately leaves on foot, asking them to go look for him if he doesn't come back. At night Edith meets a ghost who guides her to a room where Thomas and Lucille are preparing to have sex. Edith leaves the room and tries to escape but Lucille catches up with her and pushes her. At that moment Alan arrives and tries to help her, Alan tries to get her out of the mansion but is caught up by Lucille who attacks him then asks Thomas to finish off Alan by approaching Thomas asks Alan to point out a place where he can stab him without causing serious injury, then stabs him and Alan fakes his death. Thomas takes Alan to the deepest part of the mansion to hide giving him instructions so he can escape once Edith joins him. Lucille tries to get Edith to sign the papers that make the brothers heirs to her fortune. Lucille tells Edith that after murdering her mother, Thomas and Lucille came up with a plan to marry Thomas off to rich women with no family in order to murder them and keep their fortune without anyone starting an investigation thus managing to finance Thomas's inventions, Thomas and keep their forbidden love. Hearing this Edith begins to sign the documents and asks who her father's murderer was and Lucille confesses that it was her because of this Edith attacks her and flees to the elevator, where she meets Thomas Edith tries to attack him but he calms her down confessing that Alan he is alive and asking her to come with him while Thomas takes it upon himself to destroy the document she signed. Upon reaching the room Thomas incinerates the documents and Lucille seeing this realizes that Thomas fell in love with Edith and because of this she kills him and then goes to take care of Edith. Edith manages to slip away and goes down the elevator and meets with Alan tries to get him out of the mansion but they are found before by Lucille because of this Edith hides Alan and leaves the place for Lucille to follow her and thus manage to protect Alan. outside the mansion both face death but Edith is in disadvantage being weakened by the poison. So she asks someone for help, but Lucille mocks her attempt to ask for help since no one will come to her aid, but when she turns around she meets the spirit of Thomas so Lucille goes down the guard, taking advantage of this opportunity Edith attacks Lucille and kills her with a blow of her shovel. Then says goodbye to the spirit of Thomas and takes Alan out of the mansion and they are found by the people of the town surviving while that in. The mansion Lucille's spirit is condemned to remain in the same place for eternity. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe to see more videos like this, if you want to see more, I recommend you watch this movie.